panel. Shakir Subhan is a vlogger whose video blogs went viral as he chronicled his own time in a quarantine facility in Kanur. Abid Mukhtar is an Indian student presently in Italy. Sudhanshu Kaushik is the head of North American Association of Indian Students. He is joining us from New York. Dr. K.K. Agarwal is the president of Heart Foundation of India. And Dr. Arjun Dung is the CEO of Dr. Dung's lab. Uh, Shakir, beginning with you, since you are also the famous Malu traveler on YouTube, tell us about the experience you had in an isolation ward. Hello. Uh, I spent almost three days in isolation ward in Kerala. And that was amazing because my government is providing the best treatment for us. Even we are getting the breakfast. We are getting everything there. See, the people are panicked. That's why they are not going to the isolation wards. But there is no need to panic to go to the isolation ward. It's like a normal treatment they are giving to us. And how many people are there in an isolation ward? And what kind of uh, food that you're talking about? When you say don't yeah, panic, event, just explain to the viewers so that if they're displaying okay. some symptoms, it's better to the visit a healthcare center, dial the helpline because there are, uh, there's no need to panic as you emphasized it. Okay, I had a heavy fever, not fever, temperature. So that's why the guys took me to the hospital. And there was a guy who came from Malaysia. And that was a Friday, the last Friday. So when I reached there, there was one guy. And I spent, as I told you, I spent three days. So the everyday morning, uh, we are getting bread and the boiled egg and milk regularly. Every day, as a breakfast. Even if we need to buy some lunch, uh, they will help. Also, we can use a veg or non-veg, whatever. If we need chicken, or mutton, beef, fish, they are allowing everything. Hmm. So the second day, which is Saturday, the first guy is already discharged because his negative his uh, result was negative. So Saturday, two people also joined. The one guy from uh, he came from Saudi Arabia, and uh, another lady, uh, she was came from Dubai. And uh, and Sunday, Sunday was my discharge. So. That's it. And the experience was very good. Even uh, we have a, a special caring team over there. Even the, uh, the doctors was very friendly. And they very clean, very neat. The hospital was awesome. And we are getting a very special treatment. If, even if we have any uh, any extra, like, uh, cough or something, they are giving a good treatment. And everything was free. Everything was free. We don't want to pay anything. Even I had only 30 rupees with me hmm. when, I, when I went to the hospital. Hmm. Hmm. And Shakir, this specific point that you talked about, you know, that on February 16th, you crossed Azerbaijan border, that you were yeah. on this motorcycle journey uh, to tour the yeah. world and that it was cut short. Uh, and why did you take this call of ending your uh, journey uh, midway? And uh, when you, who was your first point of contact after that? And uh, who did you go and say that, you know, I'm coming from this country and I could be a suspected case of COVID-19? Okay. Uh, February 16, I was crossing the uh, Iran-Azerbaijan border. I just crossed the border. But after three days, after three or four days that I heard the news, the Iran also have a, has the coronavirus. So I just tried to cross the Georgian border from Azerbaijan, but uh, the Georgian immigration, they rejected me because of the corona. Then I tried to uh, cross the Russian border. And also same. First day I contacted our Honorable Health Minister. I just contacted through the Facebook, but I didn't get any reply. Then I tried to contact a lot of friends and doctors also. And nobody have any idea about the isolation world, about the treatment. So as a vlogger, I'm doing everyday vlogging. So I just uh, plan to come back to Kerala. And I bought one mask. I bought one um, like spirit and all for the hand washing. Then I reached the Kannur airport from Azerbaijan, Baku, via Dubai to Kannur. Hmm. From there, they checked my health and I got a heavy temperature and uh, they just took me to a, a room. It's called isolation room or something inside the airport. Hmm. And they have told me, you have to go to the isolation bar. And the guys were amazing. They're helping too much. And after the all passengers went out from the airport, they just cleared the all way, like immigration, customs, everything. So there was a, um, like an ambulance in the outside. So... They just took me to the hospital. That's it. Yes, I was enjoying because and, I don't had any panic. And, because and the people... all the VIP treatment that you got. You cleared the yeah, immigration yeah. in a matter of seconds. 
Yeah, everything. They had uh, done everything for me. I, even I never seen that immigration officer. They took my passport. They took my passport and completed every procedure. And a few guys were there. Was there. They are clearing the the crowd. They are telling everyone, please move out, please move out. And they are giving a way to me to go out. And the ambulance was ready. And a driver and the co-driver, I think he's a nurse or something. Everybody wearing the mask. Everybody.